my very great pleasure to welcome the Prime Minister to say a few words. Uh, thanks very much. Kia ora tato, uh, taifa lava, namaste, ni hao. Uh, warm Pacific greetings and hello to everyone. Uh, can I acknowledge uh, Tim and Roseanne, everybody here at NZMA, uh, my ministerial colleague, Pasita Sam Lotainga, uh, but most of all uh, to all of you. So it's uh, great to be at Sylvia Park and uh, great to be at your new campus and to be back uh, with New Zealand Management Academy. There's one great thing about this facility is that it has people from right across New Zealand studying at it, but also people from overseas. It's increasingly becoming a large uh, export earner for us uh, to have people coming from overseas studying in New Zealand and uh, hopefully either getting jobs in New Zealand or going uh, back overseas to get jobs uh, elsewhere. So we earn about $2.6 billion as a, a country as a result of that. And it's one of the things that's helped make New Zealand a much more multicultural society. A third of all people that live in Auckland weren't born in New Zealand. Uh, so we're attracting people from right around the world, the best and the brightest, to come and study here and then call uh, Auckland and New Zealand their home. It's great to see so many Māori and Pacific students doing well. Um, if we look at our stats in that area, they're, they're rapidly increasing. Many of you are, are now getting training in hospitality, or at least I hope you are, otherwise you've got a magnificent bar. Uh, to drink from, but on the basis that's for work and not for pleasure, it's a little early for you to mix me and my tie, but anyway, there you go. Uh, we've got a huge number of tourists that come to New Zealand. Um, as you probably know, we get 2.7 million people come a year. A lot of them are Australian, but increasingly China is a very big source of tourists. It's our fastest growing market. So uh, training in hospitality leads people to be able to get jobs in that sector. And, um, and also just generally speaking, um, not just tourists, but obviously New Zealanders want to enjoy uh, all that part of the hospitality sector. In fact, what you'll start seeing is labour shortages in New Zealand. So you've really got a situation where there's going to be lots of jobs out there for people to go to. And that's the purpose of you investing in your education, ultimately to be able to go out and get those jobs. So you're doing absolutely the right thing. Um, and uh, you, know, you should be celebrating that success. So thanks for having me. I don't know if I'm lifting the plaque yes. now. Am I doing that now, Tim? Yes, please. I am, I okay. There we go. There it is. Well done, well done. Well done. congratulations. Well done. Well done. Well done. That's good. Fantastic. Very good. Right. We've got a sweet omelette. Yeah. We've got Eric who's doing smoked salmon. We might be here for a while. <laughs> Very good. Yep. Okay. Thank you.